Hi folks, this is Manoj here and I'm a data scientist, right? So today's topic of discussion would be on uh, one of the very most popular and very, very commonly used terminologies that is the PyCharm as well as the Jupyter IDEs. So these are the two IDEs that are being oftenly used by many of the data scientists, machine learning engineer, deep learning engineers, right? So both PyCharm as well as Spider provides a good interface for the machine learning and data science career platforms. Cool. Now, of course, there is a lot of hype in the media that sometimes PyCharm holds good amount of weightage for the career or the linear curve for the data science path. And some say Spider is a superb addition for writing the Python codes for the machine learning and data science. Right. So there is this there is this bit of confusion because of the hypes in the media. Right. So, of course, one has one other features that is dominating over the other both has their pros and cons right so we cannot justify and say this is the ultimate one that's quite impossible to say because it is very very hard to figure out and point out saying that this is the thing that is making this very very crucial and this is having a lot of weightage so that you can opt this right so some people of course, it is all about the people's choice, people's opinion, right? So some people feel very comfortable with PyCharm and some feel very comfortable with Spider. So let's go across and see what, what do these two IDEs, that is Integrated Development Environmental Tools, offer to the users or the programmers, right? So let's get started with that point. So coming to the PyCharm. PyCharm is an IDE that is Integrated Development Environment that is developed by the JetBrains. So JetBrains is a corporation or an organization who have typically developed this PyCharm ID and it is dedicated mainly for the Python itself. Okay, so coming to the Spider, even Spider is also an open source ID, especially for Python and it is also a cross platform. Coming to PyCharm, so this Python ID is for professional developers. The PyCharm, whatever it is going to offer for the programmers it offers of course it is mainly meant for python programming itself right so whatever the python programming platform it is being provided it is typically for a professional developers whereas in case of spider scientific python development environment so spider is going to provide a scientific python development environment to the programmers or the users cool then PyCharm is very great for Python developers, of course, because it is dedicated towards Python itself, right? So PyCharm is specifically designed for Python programming itself. And this coding, coding with this platform or using this ID, PyCharm ID, enhances your coding experience. It's, it, it makes you quite easier and more flexible. Cool. Spider is great for Python coders who are looking for a free code editor who are uh, in the specialization for uh, python itself right so what happens here is so who are looking for the specialization career or specialization part for the python itself so spider is going to offer you a free code editor free code editor is nothing but wherein you can simply type your snippet of code and execute learn some of the things and you can you can do a lot of experiment on on your own so spider is going to provide such a platform for the users over there okay so it is going to provide you that code editor and pycharm of course it is known for its brilliance and it also assists some of the programmers in code analysis part right so it is providing the intelligent code analysis again there are again few more points okay so pycharm is of course not that flexible when compared to other ids and it has a bit of slow startup so when you turn on this or when you run this application the boot up time for this is quite slow when compared to any other ids okay spider also gives access to a wide variety of scientific libraries of course apart from the libraries whatever the pycharm is also providing the same and also some of the advancements in the scientific computing right so let's say we want to compute something related to machine learning itself and we need some libraries like let's say numpy because we use NumPy for some scientific computation and complex computation that are being performed for the machine learning part. Right? So what Spider can do is Spider also provides such a complex libraries or scientific libraries that can be easily adapted in our 
code okay so pycharm lets you fully customize your experience what happens here is you can alter or you can customize your own user interface let's say i want a dark theme i don't want a light theme right so pycharm provides you that amount of flexibility wherein you can change or customize your own user interface i didn't like light version of this so i want to switch it to dark edition yes by pycharm provides you that opportunity it gives you that option for you wherein you can you can decide what type of user interface the user want or you want okay but only disadvantage with spider is uh, you cannot have that flexibility right it cannot be customized it it, it has no proper layout it, it does not have any proper structure everything is um, uh, you know just bombarded into single screen and it cannot be customized of course and one of the other disadvantage of spider is it is limited to python only okay but in case of pycharm you can also integrate it to some of the tools like django anaconda walk time kite right so all these are integrated with pycharm itself so this is one of the plus point coming to the pycharm then pycharm is available in two editions that is the community edition as well as the professional edition so community edition is the free version to use and the professional edition is uh, we, i think we have to pay some amount of uh, money for that accessing some of these things okay spider is of course an open source tool that is free to use you can use pycharm's community edition for the open source as a you can use it as a free tool but spider is itself a open source tool okay so that's it for today thank you